What is up my woodworking friends? Today I'm coming to you from the shop. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about projects you're making from plans. Okay? And what I like to do when I am doing these projects because some of them have a lot of pro uh, parts, a lot of steps. So here's some good tips for you to better be prepared and have a good workflow for all your parts. Let's go down to the table. Right, so from right to left, here's how our project starts out. Most projects, they're um, rough sawn boards you can get them surfaced four sides, but this is rough. We won't talk about this work because I've talked about preparing the steps to take a rough board into a surfaced four side board. We've talked about that before. Uh, by the way, this uh, wood is uh, Sapili. Uh, Sapeli, Sapeli, it's in the uh, uh, African mahogany, it's in the mahogany family, I think it's from South America, South Africa, excuse me. Good hardwood, very nice, so when you're doing a project, most projects will, let me, this particular project, this is what it is, it's a child's art easel, not my plans, the plans are from uh, woodworking, or, yeah, wood store. Yeah, wood magazine, I think. Uh, so, anyway. Most projects are going to, you know, you're, you're going to break down to, into a bunch of pages. You know, uh, a good project, you're going to make a cut list. Whether you get it from a plan or you make it yourself, there is always a cut list. And here's the cut list. All the parts are labeled, dimensions, everything. So I take this cut list and cut up all my parts. All right, we're done with that. <laughs> so then I start by labeling all of my parts. You can see here, I've labeled everything. And what that does is because there's so many parts, it's easy to lose track of what's what and I label it with blue tape. You can see here, I've blue taped it and I've sharpied it. Eventually this will go away and I'll have these as my reference points. Okay, so you notice, uh, so in this uh, instance, here's basically what the plan is. So it's a, a, a legs and rails, okay. So what I do is, on, on this particular project, these legs get uh, dados. So what I do is, and there's a right leg and a left leg, so I always mark, I always mark my faces because um, you're picking out your wood for certain parts of your project. And I always, keep track of my face and any other important information that I need to take from my plan and transfer it to my project, my wood. Okay. So this tells me a lot. Um, it tells me the part, the top, it tells me the side that it's going on. Uh, any other important information, these are getting dados, so I mark out my dados. Uh, with dark wood, it's hard to sometimes see your pencils, uh, so it's good to get a, a white uh, grease pencil or some type of uh, artist pencil. Shows, white shows up better, but um, the downside to them, most points break, so... I like to set up with a mechanical pencil to do all my layout lines. And you can see everything that I need information wise is on this part. And that is the same with every part of this project. All my information is on the pro project, okay? 
everything that I'm doing to this machine wise is here. They're all cut the length, cut the width. Now I just need to do the rest of the steps. And it's important to do that because like I said, you can lose track. Another thing that is important, okay, uh, on your cut list, whether you make it yourself or it's in a plan, a cut list usually, it always tells you the amount of wood that's needed, okay? In this particular project, just throwing out a number, um, there's 18 board feet in this project. Not really, but just throwing a number. Do not, do not, do not just buy 18 board feet. Always buy extra because what you're doing is your extra parts uh, are going to help you in setting up these dados. These are all extra parts, cutoffs, okay, from the, from the rails and the legs. So these I'm going to be doing tests with. So I'll make a dado in here and fit these parts together, okay? So basically, uh, the leg, the leg, and the rails are going to be half lapped together, and that's what that dado is going to form. So it's always good to have extra pieces, and it's always good to mill up an extra piece. Say, and this is milled for a leg, and even longer. Always mill up an extra piece or two. Um, do not get the exact amount you need because anything can happen you could make a mistake you could cut it too short uh, lay it out wrong and then you're short a piece and having extra board feet available for your project especially if you're doing a stain project or this project is just going to be natural you want to get all your wood together so it's all the same shade. Because if you go back, it might not be the same stack of wood. It, you know, So there's a lot of variables to that. So always get extra lumber. Air 10% more, so just get, you know, an another board or half a board or something, you know. But always air to more. Do not get exact. So I hope this helped you better understand the process that you go through when you're working with plans. Um, these tips and tricks will definitely help make your project uh, go a lot smoother, especially when you have a lot of parts like this project. Some projects have even more. So it's, it's a good habit to get into labeling your project parts and marking every notation that you deem that is critical to your project that's at hand be well be blessed hey be safe on your job site and in your shop until the next time i'll see you